Hello and welcome to the space that gives you inspiration on work, on life and how to balance both worlds. Um, we continue our series on self-discovery and this is our third video in the series. This video is coming from our last video on self-conceptualization after going through self-identity, right? We're now going to self-conceptualization, uh, which is divided in two. So in our last video, we talked about self-image and this video we want to talk, I would like to talk about self-awareness. So if you haven't watched the previous two videos, please pause this video and go back because they do follow a chronological order. Now, what is self-awareness? Self-awareness is how we see the reason behind our own actions, our own values, our own thoughts, and our own emotions. It's, it's, self-awareness isn't in the why. It is, is, I mean, it's not, let me say that again. Self-awareness isn't in the what. It is in the why. What do I mean? So last, in the last video, we're talking about um, self-image. And I talked about the fact that when I, you know, take my clothes off and I see myself in the mirror, I'm just like, ooh, I shudder. Like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to look there. I'm not, I'm not going to look there. And that, while that is self-image and what I think about what I see myself as in the mirror, self-awareness asks me why. Why do I see myself in the mirror and I think of myself the way I think about myself in terms of my self-image? Why? Why do I think that? Um, and maybe let me just share the fact that when I was going through my self-discovery, I feel like self-awareness was the hardest part for me because it asked the reason behind and it was so it's I felt naked in front of myself and it was probably the most difficult and the hardest to accept to know the reason why I would do things say things think things and if if I'm to come from the example that I've shared from the last video I would in terms of self-awareness I would ask myself, why do you think, for example, a bulging stomach is a bad thing? Because in self-image, I would see a bulging stomach and go like, oh my gosh, that's, oh God. Wow, wow Manuela, you need to work on that. Self-awareness asks me, but why? Why? And then now I had to come to terms with myself on why I think a bulging stomach is not okay. I had to come to terms with the fact that I had a certain definition of beauty in my head. Wow. That was so, it was so raw. It brought me to a place of rawness because I didn't have to tell anyone these things. I was telling myself, I was coming to terms with myself. Actually, that's what self-awareness does. It makes you come to terms, to realize, to open your eyes to your own, the reason as to why you do what you do. That if you feel a certain way about someone, it asks you why. Self-awareness says, why, why do you feel like that? And you have to answer yourself. And let me tell you, in the, in the process of self-discovery, self-awareness, I feel like it's the most painful. And it's, it took me so long to get out of my self-awareness phase and to, to be cognizant of my true self. I realized at times that I was proud and egotistic it would i mean it <laughs> i don't know how to explain this thing to you i i came to so many terms of myself and they were painful and cringing and i was like oh, wow i'll give you an example i had to come to terms with the fact that i'm selfish <laughs> you know you're raised by your mom and 
your parents, your dad, to be, not to be selfish. And many times when I ask myself the reason as to why I did certain things, I realized that they were all for me. They were all about me. And that I was selfish. I would, <laughs> I'll never forget that day. I cried. I cried because I was just like, but I was raised differently. How is it that I'm this selfish and self-indulgent and self was just it was always about me? <laughs> because you remember, like growing up, you'd always say say things about people like you are. Yeah, hey, she's always about herself. No. Now to realize that that was me. Ooh. I tell you, when you're doing your self-awareness in your self-discovery journal uh, journey, brace yourself. Brace yourself for what is coming because it can be quite, it can be quite painful. Why do you think <laughs> that a rich man who's spending money is wasting it? Why? <laughs> That's what self-awareness does. It asks you why. But why, why do you think he's wasting money? Why? 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 Why is it that you think he's wasting money? Why is it that when you see the image of this woman or this girl, or when you hear her speak, you don't like it? Why? Hey, hey. Self-awareness. Self-awareness is hard. It asks you the why. Why is it that when Manuela laughs, it annoys you? Why? Why? That's, that's what it's asking. It's asking why, what are the reasons behind your actions, your values, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. Why? Guys, brace yourself. Brace yourself because if you're going to be truly honest with yourself, that's really painful. Anyway, so there's stages of self-awareness. And I get this from, so I don't know if I've ever told you guys, I did uh, psychology on campus. But I don't know what's with me, like with mathematics, engineering, psychology, statistics <laughs> one day i'll share with you my um my academic journey my education journey and whew, it's been quite the roller coaster but i attended psychology class on campus i i had some some moments that i could go to extra classes <laughs> i did psychology because i think i wanted to understand people no i didn't want to understand people i wanted to understand people so that i could manipulate the situation again like i said i found out i'm selfish i understood it i've i'll continue to share with you what then happened in my self-discovery journey after finding out things like i'm selfish i'll i'll come i'll tell you but i did psychology and there's certain stages of self-awareness now they we usually use it in the stages of development of a child so there is confusion differentiation situation identification uh, permanence and self-consciousness now, I'm not going to go into that definition, but I remember that those stages actually helped me during my self-awareness journey. I feel like I went through those stages, uh, but on a more um, intellectual level as you're older. So the first stage or level zero is a level of confusion where you have no idea who you are. <laughs> Woo! Where you, you move. Life, like you, do. <laughs> you couldn't care. You, you don't care. You just, you don't know who you are. Uh, but then you come to level one, which is differentiation. That day you realize that you're different from other people. Yo. At that point, you're wondering why you, like, you look at, you look at, you experience a situation. And then you realize that you've done different from somebody else. And you realize that you're different. That day, that day you realize that you're different from someone. You're, there's a certain, that you're on the first level of self-awareness. There is, you realize that you're different. And then the third level is situation, which, which this one is a bit confusing, but let me try. Which, depending on the situation, you're different. So in the first one, in differentiation, you're different from people. But in situation, 
while you're the same person, different situations give you a different person. So let me give you an example. You realize that um, if a guy taps you on the on the butt, <laughs> a guy taps you on the butt who you you know you you like, then you know it's kind of like you know. But then a guy who doesn't like you, like what in heaven? So who are you? What just what just happened? Same situation, different use. Hmm. Do you get what I mean? So in the third phase, so you you now are coming to terms with who you are based on different situations, based on the people that are in that situation. Um, so there's that level of awareness because now you're asking yourself, but why? Why is it that when the other guy who I don't like touched me, I was upset. Then this one, I was not. Why? What, what, what exactly happened there? Um, and then there's the identification. And I think this is where it starts to become... <laughs> real <laughs> the one where you say the reason why is because i like this guy and you're like but why do i like him why why isn't it that i don't I, that i don't like that guy or i don't like this guy it's because i am a, a, a selfish person i keep giving myself my examples but i shouldn't but because i'm a selfish person i prefer a guy who really really likes me over a guy who's just who I have to also put in the work. I would rather someone puts in the work for me. <laughs> Selfish. Selfish me. You get what I mean? So that's where now you really come up with the reason. You give yourself the, the identification, the recognition of you. And then the fourth level is permanence. Where well, it's real. It's, you realize that day after day, that's truly who you are. And the last level is self-consciousness or it's kind of like meta self-awareness. Like it's even before it happens, you know that, yeah, that's how you're going to act because you know the reason. Yeah. Um, you are already, aware, you're so aware of self that even before a situation comes, you, yeah, you can tell because you know the reason behind it. Um, you will decide not to do certain things just because you know the reason behind it. I'll give you an example of myself very, very quickly as we come to the end of this video. In my journey to self-discovery, I realized that, and I think I've shared this before, that I'm an, I'm an alpha female. I prefer to walk alone. I prefer to, I don't, I'm, I'm not in cliques. I have groups of friends, but I'm not in a clique because I, if I enter a clique, I want to be the alpha female or I am the alpha female. And then I want to lead. I want to show them the way, but people have lives of their own. And so then I'm going to get, start getting hurt that I can't affect them in the way I would like to affect them as an alpha woman. Then I'm annoyed and angry. So in my mind, I'm just like, but why? So I have a certain level of self-consciousness. Immediately, I see a group start to, <laughs> I walk away <laughs> very fast because I know I have a high level of self-consciousness, a meta self-awareness of who I am and why. I do what I do, why I say what I do, why I feel the way I do. And then I'm, I'm, I'm constantly in a place where if I find another alpha female, there's jealousy that's going to come out of me. There is, you get, I'm, I'm fully aware. So I just don't enter that situation immediately. And so I walk alone. I don't know if that makes sense. Let me know in the comment section. Until next time, I can't wait to see you. Bye-bye. Mm.